Our different skills from broking to underwriting collectively give us an advantage. We were able to look at the risk and uh, come up with valuable and tangible um, input. I believe the other team are not going to win, as Mopedi says, they are limited in only being underwriters. Um, I believe that a, having a broker in the mix as well as underwriters performs a crucial part of evaluating the risk because you need both sides of the story. I mean, in terms of our presentation, I think that the structure is, is put together well. We have structured the presentation in three stages. We look at the risk um, overview, we then go on to the risk identification, and then we look at the risk and mitigation. We'd well, formally like to welcome you, and uh, we're, we're looking forward to what you basically have to share with us. Can we have the packs, please? And once you handed them out, can we uh, just proceed? Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Our team, Risk Simplified, were assigned the task of going to the Johannesburg Art Gallery and doing a risk review. We had an hour to walk around and ask various questions to understand the risk a bit better to see where the key areas of a possible risk may occur. There's no plan B or contingency plan in terms of when there's a power, there's a power surge. We've also identified that um, there are fire extinguishers in place, however, not all rooms or exhibition rooms do have fire extinguishers. We would recommend additional security um, in the event there is a power surge um, as CCTV cameras and security will not operate. We saw that they were fire extinguishers in certain areas and in certain areas they were not current. Therefore, we believe additional uh, fire extinguishers should be fitted. Well, thank you very much. Um, would you like to comment first? Yeah, thank you. I think there was some really good feedback that we received. Uh, feedback on some of the basic fire protections at the art gallery. Observations that you made on liability issues and electrical problems, and some of the operations or the lack thereof of some of the systems in place. Well done, it was quite a structured presentation. I like the fact that it gave us a report to follow through, so it was really easy to, to go through the different modules of your, of your report. So, well done on that. Um, I suppose, from a, things to think about, is maybe you need to start thinking about whether you really did evaluate all the risks present in, in the gallery. So, for example, flooding risks. But on the balance, I think it was really well done. Finally, from our side, uh, I was very happy to hear that you uh, were very structured in your approach. You actually answered the mandate. I think both the teams actually missed the fact that this is a huge fire risk. So I think there is probably your single biggest static risk, you know, as far as, as we're concerned. And that, for identification and treatment purposes, actually deserve a lot more attention. From our side, thank you very much. We th I thought you did well. Make sure that you stick to the mandate. You did. Uh, and, uh, and make sure you keep on being there. Thank you very much. The presentation this afternoon I think went very well. I don't foresee that we would lose the task. I think our presentation and following the guidelines to how it should have been done and having experience of reading risk reports I strongly believe that we have the lead. With our signing bias, I believe I'm the strongest member of the team as I do come with a broking background and I understand the underwriting side of it too. We stand a better chance of winning because we, we stick to the mandate of the task and we make sure that our results are outstanding. And uh, we're able to highlight the knowledge of insurance that we have and that makes us a great team. So far, I think my, I have played a leadership role I have been able to redirect the team if we go off the mark and reconcile what the requirements are to the actual task. I think that I had a great input in the um, activity and I believe that uh, working with the other two members of my team helped us to execute the activity well. I think our team is the winning team. I think our team is very, very strong. Reason being, we have um, an array of skills, both underwriters and brokers, 
and therefore I think we are the winning team. Okay, welcome back to all the apprentices for the final session of the first day of the insurance apprentice. Okay, we'll start with Azar. I think Azar, you guys didn't interpret the mandate correctly, okay? Uh, caused you to basically uh, sacrifice structure, I think, in the first place, and, and you got lost at times. Matthew, I think if there's any issue, the issue that I would have is that uh, when you present, you need to project better, even, even if it's one-on-one. -on -one, but sometimes, less is more, okay? Uh, you listed a whole lot of stuff and you didn't have the solutions for everything. Walter, I know it's difficult, you know, we're all different types of people, uh, but in your, in your case, you are hiding your knowledge uh, behind a lack of assertiveness. If people perceive you to be more assertive, you look more knowledgeable and you look more credible. Mopedi, make sure that you don't come over as being parrot-like, you know, that you basically just go through the motions rather than actually put emphasis where emphasis is required, but don't go through the motions. You must make sure where you emphasize. Roxanne? Uh, it can become an enemy if the, uh, the audience perceives that the statements are not necessarily well researched. Okay, so you make the point and you make it well, uh, but the solution that was presented or the treatment that you present, you know, is not really kind of thought, thought through. And then finally, Aaron, at one stage of your presentation, it looked like you were not actually sure where you were or, or of the subject, and you need to convince the audience. That's the most important thing. You need to convince them, you need to convince them through basically knowing what you're talking about, conveying the fact that you know it by being assertive and sure of yourself. And the final order of business for the day is our team winners, and today it is Risk Simplifier. Well done, guys.